Tonight, it's time for some upgrades. The CSA Appliance, version 7, and ESXi, version 7. vSphere came out April 2nd. So those two products I mentioned, those updates, well, for vCSA, it came out a couple days ago, and then uh, early this morning, I spotted the ESXi update. Anyhow, I'm ready to update both. So I figured, uh, how about I roll camera while I do this? And I'm going to do the new interface for that air because it's going to bother me the whole time. There we go. It's doing folding at home, so it's CPU is busy. Okay, we're going to use the new interface for updates to VCSA first. You always want to update your VCSA first. And it looks like I'm on the update tabs already. Updates tab already. And now I'm going to click on this. And you can see right there is the date two days ago. Over here is the actual readme it just brought up. How handy is that? We're going to generate a report, but what's going to happen is we're actually going to jump over to VAMI. So that's, you know, where you point your browser to the host name of your VCSA server, colon 5480 at the end, you know the drill, and update from there. All right. And um, yeah, no issue there. Now you open this back up and let's go and actually do that and see what happens. Now there were some issues. Ah. Okay, so that issue's still there. They're working on warnings you get when you log into vSphere. At the top, you might see an update available. Um, so that's a little bit odd. But let's just go ahead and go to VAMI. So VAMI. VAMI's our friend here. We're going to go to VAMI. There's my handy-dandy shortcut. Log right into that guy. And have a look. 10300. Okay, let's compare. 1040. So I'm not sure why it's not finding the host. Maybe because I'm at the leading edge here and it only just came out, but we'll find out. So when we go to update here, okay, it's spinning already. So it's doing its thing, doing a check, and I'm doing daily backups. So I'm moving forward without concern. Um, it's also a home lab, nothing in production here anyway. So it tells me it's a fix. We open up this little twisty section and it's going to take a while. We scroll to the right. Okay, it doesn't say the size of the, oh, there it is, sorry, silly me, 4.39. So yeah, it's going to take a while. Oh, look at that, a list of everything it's going to hit. All right, we're going to stage it and install it. I'm not even going to snapshot it. Going right forward. Oh, I should mention, Backup products, yeah, the support for those is going away. I think on 7.0 GA it'll still work, but wow, 190 minutes. It's not really going to take that long. Um, if we go here, I'll show you. Not just say I do backups. I'm doing them. Uh, Network Share is handling my backups automatically. Strongly encourage you to do that, just like this UI encourages you to do that before you move forward with any such upgrade. Ouch. <laughs> okay. So at this moment in time, it's uh, not ready yet. Now we can get around that, but I'm inclined to just record this video maybe tomorrow or something. And, uh, oh, can't clear out of it. All right. Could probably do that way to clear out of it. And that worked. So remember I was saying there's other ways? Well, just a moment. There we go. CD-ROM. So we can mount... Uh, yeah, there's other ways, several other ways to update this. But I'm going to wait until we have integrated install going. Or maybe the release notes tells tells me that... Um, maybe the release notes tell me that this is an issue. I don't know. So i got to look into this a little further. But uh, that's it for this video for tonight. I think I might go and try some other techniques for... Uh, uh, maybe using VMware Lifecycle Manager um, or just updating one host that's not in the vSphere cluster. That's harmless enough. You're always supposed to do vCSA first, but what if you just have a host you want to test? Say something like my ESX CLI command that works for everybody, no matter how you got your vSphere. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This article, easily update VMware ESXi. You basically uh, paste this command in over a PuTTY session and you get yourself a download and an update all in one command. Okay, but you want to hear some steps. You want to back up first and uh, do VCSA first, just like I said. 
So my point is this will work for everybody, um, wherever you get your code, whether that's a VMonk Advantage or Eval, uh, sorry, uh, vExpert program, or even the free hypervisor, or finally fully licensed. You can actually paste this command. So this article is um, helpful in that you don't just have a help update screen where it just works. You gotta do a little more work than that, so that's part of why this article is helpful, because uh, it's universal, really. But anyhow, Lifecycle Manager is still a better way to go if you got it. And that's over here. And you saw updates there, and that's where you go and do hosts on this level. But again, I gotta get VCSA up to the level first. Does that make sense? <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, but yeah, you don't wanna be doing this stuff until you get your VCSA appliance updated first. So that's why I'm gonna to resort to maybe some old SSH session. ESX CLI commands to give it a whack on, uh, give it a try on one of my hosts tonight anyway. So thanks again for watching and for visiting Tinkertry IT at home with a whole series of vSphere 7 related articles already for you. Bye now.